Hey guys, how are we doing today? I thought that I would show you what I'm wearing for summer. This is like the first summer I'm like super into fashion and I'm trying to stay on trend. So most of my outfits are like following the trends of the summer, I hope. I, from what I've like, watched on TikTok and researched, I, I think it does. So the past few summers, my fashion has been very reflective of where I've been. Three years ago, I was in New Hampshire. So I was very like mountain girl. I had baseball hats and t-shirts. Summer after that, I was on the beach in Delaware. So I like looked like a walking boardwalk. I was wearing pinstripe dresses, patterned shorts. And then last summer I was in New York, but that just doesn't count because I didn't go anywhere. I was scared to leave my house. So this is my first actual summer in New York where I can be fashionable because it's a lot of pressure to be in New York. I did spend one summer in New York in 2017 when I was living at my college on Staten Island. So that barely counted because I was on Staten Island. I worked on Wall Street at a Le Pen Quotidien. If you don't know what that is, it's like a tacky French restaurant thing. No offense, Le Pen Quotidien. It was a very hectic summer and all I did was wear all black and sell bread to rich men who were really mean <laughs> that worked on Wall Street. So this is my first real summer in New York where I can be fashionable. So I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. My shoe game, very weak, very weak this summer. I live in New York, right? And New York is a dangerous city for open toes. There is so much that can happen to your feet. You could step in poop or vomit or get run over by a bike. You know, you're in a crowd, people step on your feet. It's just like, there are so many cute trends wearing like those, um, I think it's like the Gucci heels. I would love to wear those, but I'm too scared to buy them because I'm scared they're gonna like fall off my foot and I'm going to step in something disgusting on the street. But right now I just have my Air Forces, my Docs and my sneakers. Um, okay, I've been talking for way too long, so I should just show you my outfits. Okay, so my first outfit is super simple. It's just a white crop top and jean shorts. And then I have sunglasses and this clip that like everyone has. And then I'm wearing Air Force Ones. Just a super basic outfit. I have my rings on and some necklaces to spice it up. And then if I want, I can also carry this yellow purse with it. Give it a pop of color. I love this purse. It's from H&M. I got this top from Zara. I love this top. I know a lot of people go more for the like high neck top with this look, but I think that this cut just suits me better. I'm literally obsessed with it. I have it in white, black, tan, green, and pink. Yeah. I got these sunglasses from Shein. I got the clip from Amazon. The jeans are misguided that I cut into shorts. And then obviously Air Force Ones. And then if I wanna like spice up this outfit, what I've been seeing, which I think is like super cute, people take like a crew neck sweatshirt and it's like a very preppy look. They tie it around their shoulders like this and you just kind of look like you're going to like a tennis match. I've never like actually worn a sweatshirt like this out before, but I think I might. And then I always get super cold like inside restaurants and stuff, so then I'll have a sweatshirt. I'm looking a little tan in this white top, that never happens. So this outfit is a halter top with ripped jeans. These are my all-time favorite jeans right now. They're from H&M. They're just like straight leg jeans that are ripped. They're super comfortable and I actually have never found a pair of jeans that fit me better. This top is from Yes Style. I feel like it's a later at night top. Like I don't think I would just wear this outfit around the city during the day. I just feel like walking around Manhattan at noon in this top is not my my vibe for this summer. This is like my party girl Alexis outfit, I feel like. Halter tops are definitely in this summer. I think this bag pairs very nicely with this outfit. I like the white with it. I got this from Shein. Outfit two. I never even thought about putting this outfit together until when I was trying to get ideas for this video. I don't know why I've never worn this outfit before. I'm obsessed with it. It is this white crop top, but it's kind of like a littler, like very short crop top with these like khaki pants, but they're pretty wide leg at the bottom. So I'm wearing them with my docs. The pants are like super flared at the bottom, which I really like. These are also from H&M, these pants. And then this top is from Zara. And then I'm wearing these cream sunglasses from Yes Style. I have been loving neutrals lately. So I really love just like the combo of this outfit. I think that to keep the outfit neutral, I think the white purse would look really cute with this outfit as well. I'm like about to wear this outfit tomorrow. I'm like, this is actually really cute. I'm still just wearing my lock necklace and my chain that I usually wear like every day. But I think that this outfit could look really cute with a lot of like beaded and pearl necklaces are in right now. 
I don't own any, but I'm definitely going to get some because they're super cute. I think that could look really cute with this outfit. And I think the docks just work really well with this outfit. I need the pop of black on my shoes. If I wore the Air Forces, it'd be like too much. I never used to be the kind of girl that would wear pants in the summer. I was shorts only. I think that shorts always made my legs look longer because I'm only 5'4", so I kind of always strayed away from pants, but I feel like I'm finally learning how to style pants and make my legs look longer by wearing them instead of making them look shorter. Hot Vax Girl Summer, Hot Pants Girl Summer. Okay, next I have this super cute floral pattern dress from Shein. I'm wearing it with my sneakers. It's a pretty thin material. When I first got this dress, I didn't really know how I felt about it, but I think this kind of dress is something that's super in this summer. I don't even know the word for it. Just like a simple floral, like little dress. And I think with sneakers, it's super cute. And then I have it with these sunglasses that I got from Shein. So these are the wireframe sunglasses. I think there's a time and a place for them. I know they're not as trendy anymore, like the thick, more plastic sunglasses are in instead of the wire ones that were in one or two years ago. I think with this dress, it's like, it's a look. I have my hair up in a clip again. So like crochet and straw are really in this summer. So I have this little like straw bag. It's also from Shein. This outfit is definitely one that I really like, but I, if I'm gonna wear this out in the city, I definitely have to be with like my boyfriend or some of my friends because I just feel like this is an outfit that I wouldn't really wanna be alone on the subway in. You know? Okay, next I have this set. It's a matching two piece. I got it from H&M and I paired it with this purse and I have these like big sunglasses. These are like my actual seeing sunglasses. The rest of the sunglasses that I've had on, I just kind of wear on top of my head because I like how it looks. But these are the only sunglasses that I wear that I actually use to protect my eyes from the sun. Usually I just bring these sunglasses and switch them out when I actually need to wear sunglasses whatever loungewear is definitely in it's perfect for if you just want to grab coffee in the morning you can throw a jacket over it i definitely love the loungewear i'll probably try to find another set that fits me a little better maybe with a little bit shorter shorts but i do think this is really cute and i love the light blue okay hear me out with this next outfit it's overalls with just like a plain t-shirt. These overalls are my mom's from the 90s. They're from Old Navy, but they're like 30 years old. And I thrifted this t-shirt. It's just like a basic white t-shirt, a baby tee, if you will. I have my hair just in a little ponytail with some pieces out. And I like feel somewhere between I'm in the 90s and I'm going to work on a farm, but I like it. If overalls aren't back yet, I'm gonna bring them back. This one, I really feel like I'm going to a farmer's market in, especially if I carry this bag like this, is just like a canvas bag. It actually says Fresh AF on it. I got it from Fresh & Co, which is like a, I think it's only in New York. It's a chain restaurant in New York. It has like salads and sandwiches and stuff. I, I did some things with them. I tried some of their things. So they gave me this bag when I went. But canvas tote bags, they are in right now. Like that is a trendy thing right now. I went to Washington Square Park the other day and I swear to God, every single person in that park was holding a canvas tote bag. Okay, so this next outfit is a halter top that ties in the back and around my neck. I got this from Zara and then my misguided jean shorts and then a bucket hat. I don't really know if bucket hats are in this summer. I know they were in last summer, so I'm still gonna wear them because I have a lot. <laughs> But I also just think it looks really cute with this outfit. I think that this canvas bag would look really cute with this outfit. And then I have my Air Forces on. I just feel like this is a good outfit for if I'm going to the park or maybe we're going to the beach, but not swimming. I could go to the flea market in this. I could go grocery shopping in this. I really could go anywhere in this, but it's like super casual summer. I got the hat from Urban. Here's my next outfit. I think that fun pants are very in right now. They definitely were in for spring and I think it's gonna be carried over into summer. So these are just some neon green cow print pants I have. These are from Shein. And then this is my top from Zara again. I also have these sunglasses from Yes Style. They are like neon green. They would do nothing to help me from the sun. And they also look really stupid pushed up like this. I think that this outfit would look really cute paired with this white bag. I just got these pants a few weeks ago. I haven't worn them anywhere yet, but I was really wanting the brown and white cow print pants. I thought those were so cute. And then for some reason I bought these green ones instead. I really am into the fun pants right now. I also have some light blue zebra print pants. Another pants outfit, but these are the perfect pants for summer because they're super thin. At first I was like a little skeptical of these pants because they were so thin, but they are like my favorite pants ever. They're from Princess Polly. I kind of want to buy them in like three more colors because I love these pants. They're super comfortable. They're kind of flared at the bottom, wearing them with my Air Forces. And then I paired it with this 
like burnt orange sweater vest that I got from Shein. And then I'm wearing the cream sunglasses from YesStyle. I think this outfit would look really cute with this yellow purse from H&M because there's yellow in the pants. So I think it just all ties together very nicely. The outfit could also look really cute with just like a plain crop top. I've taken, I've taken a good Instagram picture in this outfit. So it's definitely a good one. And for my last outfit, more of a sporty look. It's biker shorts and this beige crop top. It's the same one as the white one from Zara. This is my tan one. And then I have these tortoise shell sunglasses. These are the ones from Shein. These biker shorts are actually from Old Navy. I'm wearing with my Air Forces. What else is new? And then if I get cold, I have this brown um, jacket from Boohoo. It's literally just like a brown hoodie. I got it in a medium, but I didn't really realize it was already like super oversized. So sometimes I feel like it just looks giant on me. Like it's past the point of being trendy. Like it is just a huge jacket. I don't really mind because I, I love an oversized jacket, but if I kind of wear it like this and then I can pair it with a canvas bag and boom, I'm ready to go get coffee in the morning. So that that's this outfit. That is what I am wearing for summer. Definitely still a work in progress. I have some other things I need to get, like more shoes than just my Air Forces and Docs. And I mean, that's what I'm wearing for summer right now, but I'll probably go shopping like 10 more times in the next month and get more things. You know, I moved to New York to be an actor. And I mean, obviously that's not really working out too well right now, considering like theater is shut down and I'm working a nine to five which I, I enjoy. You know, when I first came to the city, I was just like super focused on auditioning and theater. And now that, you know, that's kind of been taken away from me, I've been trying to find other outlets of being creative, like this YouTube channel or like fashion. So I definitely have been putting a lot more energy into my outfits and what I've been wearing. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Honestly, I'm so hungry right now. I can barely think straight. So I think that's my cue to leave. Well, I will talk to you guys next time and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.